The Sahara is one of the largest hot deserts on Earth. It covers 12 million square kilometers. Despite the aridity of its climate, the Sahara conceals considerable yet little renewable water resources. These reserves often constitute the sole resource to feed the Sahara populations and agriculture with water. The Northwestern Sahara Aquifer System, commonly known as NWSAS, shared by Algeria, Libya and Tunisia, represents one of these reserves. It covers an area of more than 2 million square kilometers and contains two large, superimposed water layers. The continental intercalary, with a depth that could reach 3,000 meters and the terminal complex of a depth ranging between 100 and 400 meters. The theoretical reserves of the NWSAS have been estimated at around 60,000 billion cubic meters. Around 5 million people in this basin depend on groundwater, particularly for irrigated agriculture and livestock breeding. As a consequence of population growth and the expansion of agricultural lands, which is more likely to double by 2050, the needs for groundwater are constantly increasing. The annual exploitation rate of the NWSAS has significantly increased in the last 50 years, going from 600 million cubic meters in 1950 to more than 2.5 billion cubic meters in 2012, due to the rapid increase of water withdrawal points, which rose from 100 in 1950 to more than 8,000 in 2012. The annual groundwater recharge has been estimated at 1 billion cubic meters per annum. Thus, since 1985, the Northwestern Sahara Aquifer System knows an over-exploitation of its resources, which exposed it to growing risks of water and soil salinity, disappearance of artisanis and outlets depletion. Since 1999, the Sahel and Sahara Observatory, with the support of the three countries concerned and together with other cooperation partners, is leading a regional project for a better management of the NWSAS. This project, known by its French acronym SAS, aims at improving the knowledge of the NWSAS, establishing a better valorization of its four resources and setting up a sustainable management of the aquifer system. Entre 1999 et 2002, une première étude a été réalisée aux limites naturelles du bassin, ce qui a aussi marqué le démarrage d'une forte coopération entre les trois pays, Algérie, Libye, Tunisie, pour une gestion concertée. C'est un exemple rare à travers le monde, notamment concernant un bassin transfrontalier d'eau souterraine. Les premiers, les premiers résultats ont montré une nette amélioration des connaissances hydrauliques, notamment par la valorisation d'une masse considérable de données et d'études dispersées à travers les institutions nationales des trois pays. Il s'agit de la mise en place d'une base de données commune comportant plus de 8000 points d'eau et d'un modèle de gestion permettant de comprendre les impacts négatifs des prélèvements sur le très long terme, à savoir de l'ordre d'un demi-siècle. Entre 2003 et 2007, des études complémentaires ont été menées pour mieux préciser les connaissances hydrauliques d'une part et établir un diagnostic agricole, ce qui a permis un éclairage sur le peu d'efficience de l'irrigation et la faible valorisation de l'eau. On a comme haïl min al-ma moussakhir l'istaqi إلا أن المشكل يكمن في استعمال الطرق التقليدية للسقي مما أدى إلى تدني المردود الفلاحي it is within this framework of information exchange and technical cooperation between the three countries that a genuine basin awareness has been introduced on the political level, leading to the forging and establishment of a joint management framework of the NWSAS embodied in the SAS consultation mechanism. The coordination unit of this mechanism is hosted by OSS and is in charge of the scientific and technical monitoring of the NWSAS. Since 2007, and with the aim of proving that a rational and sustainable management of the NWSAS is possible, 3,000 socio-economic surveys were conducted on 12 different agricultural zones on the aquifer for a better understanding of the water user's behavior. 
Six agricultural demonstration pilot sites were selected in the three countries with a view to implementing relevant technical solutions to enhance water valorization at the local level. Water and soil salinity, deficient drainage and inappropriate cultivation systems. These experiments consisted essentially in bringing development measures to the selected plots. Subsurface drainage, intensive irrigation system, localized and drip irrigation system, solar pumping and water and soil desalinization. Les pilotes de démonstration agricole ont été mis en place pour tester des expériences concrètes de gestion rationnelle et durable des eaux et des terres. Il s'agit de mieux valoriser l'eau, d'améliorer le revenu de l'exploitant et d'assurer la conservation du complexe au sol. In the valley of Wadrir in Algeria, the oasis of Sidi Mahdi located in Togur is essentially constituted of date palm trees irrigated using traditional methods. Excessive irrigation coupled with poor drainage lead to the saturation of the soil by groundwater, a phenomenon called hydromorphy, which intensifies soil salinity through the accumulation of salt contained in water. Due to water excess, the palm roots rot and the date productivity fell in results in a sharp decrease of the farmers' revenues. The installation of a new buried drainage network to release soil and allow the supply of sand led to a remarkable improvement of the soil quality. <laughs> أربع مرات خير من من منطقة أخرى عن الاستصلاح هذا مع أن النخيل هذا منا اللي درنا في تجربة والنخيل الآخر الظهراوي هذا. In the oasis of Jdida in Tunisia, the absence of slopes to help evacuate drainage waters has resulted in soil degradation due to salinity and water logging. A buried drainage system paired with a solar energy pumping station to drive waters outside of the oasis was established. The system allowed an effective drainage and helped to strongly reduce the salinity of soil from 10 grams to 4 grams per liter. In the big region of Tuet, the oasis are irrigated through traditional methods using traditional water catchment and distribution structures called fugara. About half of the thousand operational fugaras in the region are rapidly drying up due to a lack of maintenance and intensive water withdrawal. The fugara is a part of the part of the l'homme de the part of the l'homme of the part of the l'homme de la palmerie. C'est la colonne vertébrale de cette société qui est indissociable, c'est l'orsar. La Palmeri et la Foga. As the case for several oases in the Algerian south, the oasis of Qsar Eid Mas'ud found itself threatened by the depletion of its Fogaras and the risks of abandoning palm cultivation. To face this problem, the project had to address two major points. First, upstream through the restoration of the initial flow of the Fogara using solar energy for water pumping. Then, downstream, through the introduction of new methods of localized irrigation, which would ensure a better valorization of the Fogaris water. The registered results are remarkable. 40% of water saving, rehabilitation of the oasis cultivation system, and improvement of the farmer's revenue. Now, with this technology, Alhamdulillah, Sarat Nakhil, meaning, the production of ما شاء الله على الماضي الشيء اللي نتمناه في المستقبل وهو التدعيم بالأدوية التدعيم كذلك بهذه الوسائل احنا مفضل هذا الشيء هذا لو كان ممكن هنا على عام ولا ولا حتى على عامين ممكن نوصل حتى للجيران كاع نولوز كيما نقول كان جيراننا زقلوف وكاين النفيس وكاين حتى على مستوى البلدية تاع ترقان ماذا بينا The Tunisian-Libyan Jafara is characterized by scarce and bad quality groundwater resources. Two-thirds of the Jafara water resources have a salinity of more than 5 grams per liter, which limits the possibilities of irrigation. In these arid regions, farmers practice rain-fed olive farming and suffer the risk of recurrent drought. 
المشكله فيها زيتون زيتون تعب هذا كمناش محروق اولا من قله مطر وثانيا يخش عليه الصيف سخون يبس الزيتون او نقول ينقص من المياه يولي يبس شيح ما عادش فيه الا الا بالمطر واذا كان مثلا مش مطر شيء ما شيء ما يصير In order to ease the impacts of recurrent drought, the region's farmers seek to refuge to irrigation with brackish waters, especially in summer. This practice, hardly efficient, resulted in water loss and soil salinity. The continuous degradation of water and soil quality pushed farmers to abandon their farms. To address this issue, several innovations have been introduced at the level of the first demonstration pilot implemented in Libya to valorize brackish waters with a salinity of about 1.6 grams per liter, localized irrigation in the intercalary part, and most importantly, changing the cultivation system using adapted productive crop varieties. The off-season vegetable crops of winter and spring have replaced the annual summer crops, and the technical and economic results are positive and this should encourage farmers of the surrounding areas to adopt the technical innovations used. Similar to the first demonstration pilot in Libya, the demonstration pilot of Medin, Tunisia aims at demonstrating the technical feasibility and economic profitability of the brackish water desalinization technique with a salinity of 4 grams per liter for the irrigation of high value added vegetable crops. عندنا هنا في مدنين خاصيات الموارد المائية هي موارد مائية نادرة وفي نفس الوقت مرتفعة الملوحة عندنا حوالي أكثر من 75% من المياه ذات درجة ملوحة أكثر من 5 جرام في اللتر من هنا جت الفكرة مع لوخيان في مرصد الصحراء والساحل لتركيز مشروع نموذجي لتحلية المياه المالحة واستغلالها في العديد من المجالات الهدف الأول هو تثمين الزيتين من الشبتان بتاع الزيتون خاصة حوالي 4 ملايين زيتونة والهدف الثاني هو الاستغلال المكثف لهذه المياه المالحة اللي تتميز بها منطقة الشفارة بصفة عامة في الري المكثف The results obtained during three consecutive years 2011 to 2013 were very encouraging Water use efficiency was multiplied two to three fold depending on the type of crops. Soil salinity was utterly avoided, and the farmers' revenue increased considerably. جاء الاقتراح هذا يمنا من مندوبية الفلاح ومرصد الصحراء والساحل هذا لاقتناع محطة تحلية مياه لنقص من درجة الملوحة خاصة ما أنا إنتاجت زيتون وكان ذلك يمنا ما أنا الإنتاج هذا يمنا المالح له. معنا زاد في إنتاجية الخضروات مثل الطماطم والسلطة والبطاطا قبل معنا من بالنسبة بحكم الإنتاج معنا بالميل والمالح وكل شيء من النقص معنا الإنتاج من المدخول معنا ضعيف كتير من زوز بلاين ثلاث بلاين معنا في الموسم معنا من معنا المدخول متاع معنا في اللحم من تو حاليا توصل معنا بالعشر ملايين The plain of Jafara shared by Libya and Tunisia. Abounds with inadequately valorized geothermal waters, i.e., waters with an average temperature reaching 60. The mea zina melbir, fama yani fama kima muayna lakhdo la irrigation, fama kima li shufaj. Per esempio, la irrigation, fama yani kima najm lakhdo fi la fi la fatra safi ou la fatra shetui. Yani fi la fatra shetui, yani najm li sahku. إجماليا يعني ألف متر مكعب يعني في في البيت وفي السنة كاملة يعني ما يروح أضعاف ألف متر مكعب المشاكل من جراء الملوح هذه لأن المية مالح غيروها الفلاح غيرها بال 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 بالتراتما بالأسيد الأسيد فسفوريك يعني بيش يحل يعطي شوية حموض المية ويحليه بيش يكون نبتة مذاقة سلي The second demonstration pilot in Libya had to be abandoned. To replace it, a successful experience in using geothermal waters in Tunisia was retained for pedagogical purposes and knowledge transfer. The water that comes from the water is 4.5 grams per liter. 
يصير يصير لوسموز في الديسالمون في لوسموزور تصير انجيكسيون تاع لي زونغري ليكيد مع لو اوسموزي وتتبعث سوليسيون فيرتيليزونت للي بلونت This pilot concerns the use of hot water in intensive irrigation of high added value crops, ensuring thus a strong valorization and a better product quality responding to the international market requirements. The socio-economic surveys conducted in the region and the experiments performed in the pilot sites allow the analysis and understanding of users' behavior and show that a small scale that it was possible to enhance water productivity in agriculture through effective irrigation methods and to improve profitability by using brackish water desalinization techniques and solar energy pumping. These results, which were disseminated to the region's farmers at technical meetings, have been promptly adapted. Some farmers have even taken the initiative and started implementing certain practices similar to those used in neighboring pilot farms. During the last 15 years, the study on the Northwestern Sahara Aquifer System that had been conducted by the Sahel and Sahara Observatory OSS, with the support of the national institutions of the concerned countries and many other development or cooperation partners, led in its first stage to an improved knowledge on the aquifer vital for the region and showed in a second stage that a better valorization of water and preservation of this rare and little renewable resource is possible. La prochaine étape sera la validation des résultats obtenus au niveau du pilote, une seule exploitation, à une plus grande échelle comportant plusieurs exploitations, c'est-à-dire le passage d'un système de culture à un système de production. L'objectif final est la mise en place d'une stratégie de développement durable où l'agriculteur y trouve tout son intérêt. Il appartiendra au mécanisme de concertation qui est d'ailleurs un cadre de gestion technique et politique exemplaire à travers l'Afrique d'utiliser au mieux les résultats dans le cadre d'une gestion durable de cette ressource.